Hey, Joe here with another very simple Gmail tutorial. Had a friend ask about setting up folders uh, within uh, Gmail and wanted to highlight a couple of the cool features. One of the things that's great about Gmail or a Google Apps account um, is that it has an incredibly powerful search feature. Um, and so uh, I have a friend who has a um, nonprofit uh, organization called Glass Hearts and so when I type in Glass Hearts um, there is a fantastic quick Google quality search of my email for all things Glass Hearts related um, and so that eliminates some of the need for folders that way or if it's for a, a person and so my friend who works at Glass Hearts um, his name is Rick, and boom, everything concerning um, glass or everything from him as far as emails go is all taken care of. It's really easy to find either by a term if you know something that was said in the email or if it's from a certain person. Really, really easy um, to do some basic quick searches, and that gets really advanced. You can do all sorts of to or from or the subject contains or the body contains or any variation thereof. Uh, you can do some fantastic search-related things um, using uh, Gmail or Google Apps, which runs out of a Gmail basis. Um, so when do you want to use labels. Um, I have a few that I use or a few general categories. Um, if I have major projects going on, so for example, uh, I'm uh, going to be going back to school to get a doctor of ministry degree. Um, everything in relationship to my D-min gets thrown into a D-min label or gets labeled, marked, tagged with a D-min marker on it. So I can pull up everything relating to my D-min no matter who it's from. Um, and so I have instant access to everything concerning that. Um, I have all of my uh, emails relating to things from my wife or to my wife or for my wife and interactions over time and so it's a really simple way to go back and see some of our interactions even from varying email addresses. I have some stuff for work, stuff involved with my son. Taxes is a great one simply because most of the time when you get an email that you need for a tax write-off it doesn't say taxes anywhere in it. It's just a receipt. Um, but this way you can categorize it in taxes and when tax time comes around you go in Boom! You've got everything you need as far as setting up for tax deductions. Um, obviously depends on what's going on for you that year. So how do you set up that label? A um, couple ways. One, you can go into, click on uh, more on the silver side and manage labels that way. Or you can go into settings and from settings you can go over to labels and there you have um, all of the labels that you might have. And so I have my D-min one here. You can set whether you want to show it or hide it. So I could click that and all of a sudden, if you notice over here, it goes away and now it is back. Um, or you could do show if unread. And so if you have something that filters so it automatically puts it in um, to a, a label or a category, um, you can see if, if there's something new in there as opposed to something that's just all the stuff that you've thrown in there in the past. Um, you can also decide whether you want to show it over in IMAP if you're linking up to Mac Mail or Outlook or whatever else you might be using um, for an email client uh, that's offline outside of the Google world. Um, and so you just basically you want to create a new label, you create a new label and it's sample label, create, and when you scroll on down I have sample label here and say I want to nest it so I have a, a general label and then I have a category within that label I'll do um, nested example and you will do nest under label sample label create and now you can see that they're both here and if you come over here you have sample label and nested example if you decide you don't like what you did you just hit remove and delete and you have gotten rid of them. And so uh, just a really simple tutorial and example of how Gmail not only uses some basic search functions to eliminate some of the need for hyperlabeling, 
but also um, an example of how and, and some instances where using labels can be effective. Labels, folders, same thing. Thanks a lot.